Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And Comixology is broken. Mm -hmm. uh, apparently, Comixology is broken. They've changed it. They've they've absorbed it into Amazon. Uh, this this change was announced last year. So it's like half digested. It's half digested. People were very angry for a number of reasons. We're gonna talk about it. I had a chance to to look at it this morning, and I'm like, eh. It's not great, but I, to be honest, I don't read a ton of digital comics on Comixology. Most of the digital comics I read are on the Shonen Jump app mm -hmm. um, or on Webtoon. I was going to say, like this that. is just going to probably promote Webtoons even more. Yeah, I think it is. I think it's going to push more people over to dedicated comics apps. And this is the problem with Amazon is they basically are putting everything into one big media bucket. And they're mixing the comics in with the Kindle books mm -hmm. and all that. And people are just like, eh, I liked it better when it was like Comixology was for comic books. Which they should have left it that way. But then they probably can get, you know, less uh, overall maintenance and more bang for their buck if they just, you know, roll together. What it tells me is that digital comics aren't very important to Amazon. <laughs> That's exactly what it you is. You know, that it doesn't even warrant its own, own thing. So we're going to talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 258,000 subs. Yay! Thank you so much for the support. We do talk about the comic book industry, uh, making comics ourselves and having worked in the comic book industry. Uh, we do cover technology. and uh, We do is... not have our comics in Comixology. No. Um, we had one on Kindle. I actually never really looked into Comixology because I didn't see a point. Well, really. the one you had on Kindle was back when it just started oh, that God, you, yeah. and it was a mess. It was a mess and everything. I mean, honestly, I would, I would uh, redo it now, uh, knowing what we know now, but yeah, Comixology was never a big earner for a lot of people. I mean, I've talked to people before that had their books on Comixology and for all this talk of, you know, now I think it changed during the pandemic for all this talk though, of digital comics being this huge, huge thing that was going to, you know, the lots of revenue was coming from digital and I, everyone I talked to was like, nah, not really. Mm -hmm. It's it's a fraction of what print sales are. And, um, you know, we're seeing more and more of that, you know, manga is being gobbled up and it's print volumes are being gobbled up specifically. And again, you get something like Shonen Jump, which for, you know, two bucks a month, all you can read. Yeah, it's awesome. That's a good deal. Comixology paying, paying cover price for a digital copy yeah. that you don't even own. That's, like, yeah. That's stupid. I think it's stupid. I mean, it's not bad when they have the unlimited and you can kind of go through and read stuff. But even then, it's like they'll give you the first two issues of a series. And hey, if you want to finish the story, you got to go buy the other. Well, I mean, they're trying to make sure people pay for the comics and stuff like they're trying to find a way. Because, I mean, shouldn't jump for $2 and all you can read is, is you know, not going to make a lot of people a lot of money. Yeah. I mean, some people. But, like, here they're trying to get their big cut and then make sure that the creator's got a cut, too. But it ends up being, like, why – when you can just go buy the, the physical copy – for the mm. same price, why don't you just buy the physical one? Yeah, I, I don't understand it. And then the physical copy, it doesn't get... That's the thing about anything digital, and we've talked about this before, that you know, if you collect something, you don't want to collect digital copies because there's no guarantee that they will be on that service forever. Mm -hmm. You're basically renting... Uh, or or uh, paying for access to digital content as Effectively long as it's renting. there. Because I mean, yeah. you, you're buying it, but they usually have the fine print. But hey, if we pull it off there, well, you're SOL. So yeah, and that has happened to a lot of series, uh, comic series, TV shows. You know, it's like if you don't have DVDs or comic books, you're out of luck. You can't mm -hmm. find it anywhere. So everybody's talking about this. I mean, this is Sports Skeeda, which I think is an esports site. They're talking about the the failure. That is Comixology. Freaking Patton Oswalt. Oh, God, I can't stand that guy. He's coming out saying he has a beef with Comixology now. And uh, I think it's going to hurt their bottom line for sure. I mean, he's like, yeah, Patton Oswalt. Come on, dude. Like, he just. <laughs> it's okay. He turns on everyone. Why he turns they, on everyone. Why should they be any different? No. Uh, oh, Comixology, what have you done? Uh, librarian here, Meg. Uh, Comixology was an invaluable reference for both us in cataloging. And it's 100% useless now. It's completely useless. Guys, just switch it back. You can do it. Come on, switch it back and no hard feelings. They're not going to. Amazon doesn't give a shit about digital comics. They don't give a shit about... Pat and Oswald Phillies? No, they don't. They don't give a shit about indie comics creators because you know at the end of the day, the Kindle books that are selling are not comic books. They're, mm. you know, knockoff Minecraft books and, yeah, so and uh, lots and lots of porn. I mean, um, for those who like to use the program and they can't use it, I, I kind of hope they do turn it back, but I'm with you that it's Amazon and unless there's a there's a, a big incentive for them to do so, they're not going to likely do it. Yeah, I can't navigate the new app, let alone pre-order and find the smaller publishers. That's the point. Mm -hmm. 
It's a feature, not a bug. Uh, you know, it's beyond user hostile. And I'm just going to go back to buying physical comics on Wednesday. Well, you should. Um, so this is coming from Polygon. Uh, lots of people covering it. I mean, well, maybe right. if you bought physical comics on Wednesday, uh, more comic shops would still be in business. That is true. That is true. But uh, Gizmodo covered it. Uh, IGN covered it. And again, you know, they don't really get into comics a whole lot. IGN, I guess, does somewhat, but uh, everybody's talking about Polygon. Uh, Amazon's overhaul of comiXology ignites concern from comic creators and readers. Recent updates have made it harder to read, shop, and publish on the U.S.'s most popular digital comics platform. That's okay. Webtoons is here. I was like, that's the most popular one? Okay. I, I don't know if I agree I with that. I don't think that's true, I but think, okay. I think Webtoon has effectively kicked their ass. Um, yes. Webtoons is free, though, so I mean... To yeah. be fair, to be free fair. usually wins out. But you also can you can have paid chapters mm. and tip creators and that sort of thing. Uh, longtime Cal- Comixology users have taken to social media to list all the ways the new web and app user experience represents a step backward from what they're used to. Uh, chief among the many complaints is a new web reader that doesn't display double page spreads correctly, mm. has removed creator credits from book listings on the storefront, and lacks both panel by panel and zoom functions. Well, that sucks. Yeah, rendering most comics uh, in a Yeah, you're not going to be able to read them. If you can't zoom in, like, I mean, to the panels, you're not going to be able to read some of this stuff. Yeah, I actually enjoy, if I'm going to read digital comics, I have a 12.9-inch iPad mm-hmm. that I usually read digital comics on, and, you know, I can zoom in on panels or whatever. Right, that's what I want to do, too, is zoom in. Yeah. Uh, dear God, <laughs> this is a disaster. Comicsology's reader is going away. So as of next week, uh, here are my options to read comics on desktop. There's no two-page view. There's no zoom. I have not altered these pictures aside from the markup. Um, yikes. Okay. Oh yeah. That's... Yeah. This is this is actually really bad. Let's let's take a look at this here. Um, so this is what what's like now or was mm-hmm. right guided right. view and it it was nice. It was a nice you know layout. We've you know actually reviewed comics via Comicsology on the channel before. Okay. Oh, you cool. mean that awful Rainbow Bright comic? Yes, that's <laughs> actually the only comic I think we've, we've reviewed. And the only reason we reviewed the awful Diamond Rainbow Bright comic was uh, as a cautionary tale. If you've Ugh. got a classic IP, you don't take it and completely destroy it and, and completely retcon. Well, she showed up eventually at like the end of the second issue or the third issue or something like that. All the know? color kids had been changed. Mm-hmm. One of them was a space alien that looked like Groot. I'm like, what the hell is this? Anyway. Yeah, it was it was good. And this is where they're Oh at. yeah, that's not good. Oh shit. Yeah, that's pretty pretty dire. Yeah, it's a two page spread. Thing is, not everybody has access, of course, to going and getting print comics, is what people are gonna bring up. Well that's great, comic shops, but not everybody has one. So you have to go to places like Comicsology. Or you could order the print the copies from other places. But um so for some people that's the only access they have. And this kind of is is really bad. Well that was that was our you know, situation for a while because, you know, we had uh, local comic shops when I had business. Now we do have one that opened up not too long ago. They have pull lists now that for the longest time, like if I want single issues, I had to either order them on Amazon or buy the digital. Mm-hmm. Those were the I mean, I And for a lot of people, that gets to the problem. And so, yeah, I can see their point. I'm just hoping, like I said earlier, I'm hoping for their sake that they can get Amazon to walk it back because, yeah. Uh, Jody uh, Troutman Things Amazon has gutted from Comixology. Uh, DRM free downloads. Oh, okay. So you can't even download the, the comic. You don't own it. You're mm-hmm. renting it. Uh, subscriptions outside the U.S. That's mm, a that's bad not one. Good. In browser reading. Submit. Submit is gone. Okay. You know what? Then I'm going to say, yeah, you, you Amazon, you know, I get you, you, it's going to be hard to get Amazon to listen unless it's, it's something in it for them. But when you're doing all this, I mean, what I mean, you, I mean, they're trying to chase everybody off. I, You know what? It would not surprise because it's, they're, I mean, like, okay, a couple changes I can see, but this is like not good. It's like they, they don't even give a shit, which they, we already know they don't. They don't give a shit. But it's like, like, well, if we get everybody to leave, then we can just shut it down and say, well, it's not working now. We don't have to deal with it anymore because this is like, uh, it's unusable at this point. Uh, literally the entire functional website's gone. Probably a lot of jobs. Well, yeah, because if people are creating, now I don't know how much money digital comics realistically are making for people, but uh, there are a lot of people probably working on them. And yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's a mess. I don't think it's important to Amazon. They're probably looking at like, okay, these comic books take up a lot of hosting because they're large images. 
Uh, and they're not selling terribly well compared to like the vampire porn and shit that we're making, you know, that people are submitting through Kindle. Because when they talk about Kindle authors, they're talking about prose authors. Mm-hmm. They're not talking comic book people. I don't think they give a shit. Yeah. I think they're like, no, nah, go ahead and leave. Go webtoons. But I can see why people that are using Comixology are mad because this is yeah. a lot of change. I mean, I don't use comics. I had some books on Comixology a while ago, but I haven't used it like in years. I think it's impressive certain comics piracy sites will actively have more that. functionality than Amazon. Yeah, you're basically driving people to pirate stuff. I mean, uh, Amazon bought Comixology in 2014. It largely left the yeah. digital comics giant alone. As soon as they bought it, we're like, oh, that's it. Yeah, it's not that's good. That's it. I'm actually surprised. I'll be honest. I'm surprised that they were left alone as this long, long as they were. Yeah. Um, other than eliminating in-app purchases on the platform. Comixology is unrivaled in its space. Well, <laughs> good luck with that. To the point of holding a near monopoly on access to digital comics from American, American publishers. American That's key. publishers. American publishers. That's the key right there. Um, the new changes have comics creators meeting the service halfway as well. British artist uh, Jamie McKelvey flagged his followers on Twitter that under Amazon's new changes, serious subscriptions, which digital comics are automatically purchased, will only be available to Comixology users in the U.S., Users outside the U.S. will have their existing subscriptions switched off automatically. Uh, smaller, permanently. Yeah. Oh, yeah, permanently. Wow. Smaller creators are also struggling with the recent closure of Submit, the Submit program, Yeah. in favor of Amazon's own Kindle Direct Publishing, a service designed to self-publish prose ebooks. Yeah. It's, it, it mostly focuses on prose, which is what you said. And that's what they sell the most of mm-hmm. on Amazon. So, yeah, I mean, to say that they're not – terribly interested in comics is I think kind of an understatement that takes us back to the beginning where he can complain to him Patton Oswalt but they don't give a shit they look at the numbers well here's where it is right here Kindle Direct Publishing also reportedly offers fewer royalties to creators than Comixology Submit with a 65-35 split rather than 50-50 there it is yep that's what it's about right there that's it right there uh, Polygon reached out to Amazon Comixology for comment on the new Comixology online app experience. Did not receive a response by the time of publication, nor will you. Uh, I don't think they're... So, let's just look at the situation. Let's look at the situation right now for independent comic book creators, objectively, right? Kickstarter. You're not allowed to go to Kickstarter. Yeah, because they might someday maybe use blockchain. Might maybe possibly someday... Use blockchain. You can't um, go to Indiegogo because that's where the no good nicks go. That's where the no good nicks go. they couldn't gatekeep out. Uh, you can't use Comixology now because they literally don't want you. Yeah. Um, what I'm seeing here, and even with Kickstarter, like like the video we did yesterday talking about how they basically gave comic book creators a cookie and pat them on the head and said, oh, it's okay. We're going to do blockchain eventually anyway. Just go to bed and don't worry about it. It's the same situation with Amazon. The comics don't make enough money for Amazon to really give a shit about the user experience. So they're just rolling you into the Kindle program that they yeah. have for the prose books they care about. Um, but it's gonna get, you're going to have to make less money. A book is a book to them. Mm-hmm. They don't care if it's a picture book or a prose book. They don't give a shit. It's uh, easier for them just to roll it in the way they're doing it. But they really broke it. I mean, it's that's bad. Yeah, and then they'll be like, oh, look, our, our viewership. Let's just cancel yeah, the Yeah, it doesn't book. work, so let's shut it down. Shut it down anyway. You can go to the Kindle program. Or, hey, Webtoons buying Comixology. Actually, that probably would have been... A better uh, way to go, yeah. A better way to go, yeah. I agree. But that that's what's going on. I mean, at the end of the day, Amazon doesn't care. They don't have a reason to care. That also tells me that digital comics do not make that much money for them. I mean, for all this talk of... You know, digital comics are the future and digital comics are blah, 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 digital comics. Clearly, it's not a priority for Amazon. Well, what they need to do then is the publishers, the bigger publishers, you just offer it directly more. And then the smaller publishers, I don't know, maybe they need to start like a Webtoons for like that. I don't know. Or just go to Webtoons and it's it's free. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, Or go to buy comics from the comic shop or online. Or you could, oh, I would say you could go. So, okay. So you can't go to Kickstarter. You can't go to Indiegogo. You can't really, really use Comixology. Oh, you can go to Gumroad and sell downloads. Oh, no, no you, you can't. You're you not allowed can't, to. You can't because Gumroad's getting into NFTs and blockchain. I'm like, I, I don't know what to tell it's you like, anymore. Do you want to sell comics or do you want to be like have a, you know, a moral cookie of everybody else on Twitter? I don't know what to tell you because I, I would tell you to go sell your own shit on your own website. But a lot of these people, and, and we learned this in the webcomic space too, a lot of comic book creators are not 
tech savvy enough or, or marketing minded but enough. But a lot to of the that. consumers are so used to going to one stop shops. Well, they're not, the, 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 the mindset has, has changed. Like it used to be like back in the day, you could do your own site. People would come to your site, but now they stay, they, we always say readers tend to stay where you find them. If you find them on, you know, uh, Webtoons, they're going to usually stay on Webtoons. You're not, they're not going to follow you to your website. They stay on your website, they're, they're not going to probably go to Webtoons. They always tend to stay where you find them. So, you know, people have gotten used to just going to one place to find all they want. They were going to Comixology, even Pat Oswald. I could find these, like, you know, smaller comics or the big comics. I just know how to, I'd search there for them. So everybody's used to going to one place. Yeah. So that's not going to work. No, and it's it's an Amazon Walmart world now. Mm -hmm. I mean, basically everybody. Go, I mean, Amazon's got everything, you know. So, I, I don't know. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to decide what is the most important to you. If if it's moral grandstanding, or if it's making money, you're gonna have to go where the mm -hmm. people are, and you might be with people you don't like, but that's the only way you're gonna be able to sell your stuff. I don't know what to tell you, but it's broken. There there you go. I actually haven't read anything on Comicsology in like. Six months, I like the Shonen Jump app, and I'm gonna just keep reading Shonen Jump. But yeah, I mean, you can yell at Amazon to fix it, and I'm hoping for your sake they do. I really yeah. am. I'm hoping for the sake of people who, because it seems like it's extremely broken, yes. and I can completely understand people are upset, and I'm hoping they fix it, and they listen, and they do something. But I also know that Amazon is probably has a plan for this, is why they're trying to roll it into the other program, um, because you said like a book's a book, a book to them, and they're not yeah. gonna put all the effort into it. They're just gonna like basically like roll, gradually tear it away till no one uses it anymore, and then get rid of it. Um, but I hope for your sake that they bring it back because I can see why you'd be upset. There it is. All right, we're gonna wrap it up. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, you can go buy physical copies of our books at shopclownfish.com. <laughs> yeah. We got a whole warehouse full of books. Then we do. Buy some. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.